In today's video, we're opening the new 25th anniversary set from Japan. What's up guys, we're back with another epic 25th anniversary opening where we will be attempting to pull the new 25th anniversary secret rare, quarter century rare, whatever you wanna call it. It is the Junk Warrior. I got these sent to me by Yugi Market, so if you guys wanna grab some OCG product as well, go check out my link down below. We're gonna to attempt to pull that 25th anniversary just like we did in Duelist Nexus. And before we get into it, we will be giving away every card that we pull in this video, including that quarter century rare if we can pull it. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Do you like this set or do you think it's a little bit Meh. The reason I suggested it might be meh, I was looking through the set and I was like, hmm, this is not exactly like as exciting as maybe some of the other ones just because I'm more into the original stuff. Uh, this is more like 5Ds and stuff like that. Obviously Junk Warrior. So it seemed like that was, it was like Earthbound Immortal. So if you're like a 5Ds nut, you might love this. But to me, it's kind of like average because last year was Blue Eyes. So it's like, how do you top that? Obviously Blue Eyes is a little bit, bit more exciting than Junk Warrior. But this one is going to be a little bit more interesting because I remember it took us like 20 boxes to get that blue eyes. So we don't have 20 boxes today. So we're going to see if we can get a little lucky and potentially pull something. I think there's 15 packs per box. I have more than one box. So I'll just keep it a mystery on how much I have for this one. We're going to see if we can pull the quarter century. There's collector rares in these sets. I think there's ultimate rares, I think, as well. So if you guys remember before, we did a live stream going for that blue eyes. That is just a... What are they even called these like parallel secrets or something we don't have them in our in our uh, our game over in the tcg so let's see if we can get something epic so far it's just a couple of, i think you get those every time so nothing crazy there's an earthbound immortal i'm not going to try to remember the exact names for those earthbound immortals because they are insane even when i have them in front of me it's tough just synchron and then okay another parallel secret rare all right 25th anniversary i think this is so we have brothers of light or sorry not brothers of legend battles of legends back to battles of legend we have that coming out for our 25th we have 20 different quarter century rares in that one this one only has one different one and it's the uh the junk synchron as i said so or no junk synchron no wait, i said it wrong junk warrior yeah too many junks that's the only one they have the only option we have like 20 in our next set so it's kind of interesting how that is different ours is a reprint set i don't know, know if japan i guess they do the rarity collection that's a reprint set in a, in the sense so I guess they kind of do it that way. We have a, oh, just a super. Okay, so you can get super rares and you can get parallel secrets. I don't know which one would technically be better. I assume super because you get a parallel secret like every, it's kind of more like a rare. So I guess super's a step up from that. I think you can get ultis in this set. I know you can get collector rares because I saw that on the list when I was going through. Chimera, I wonder if you can get this guy in a high rarity. That'd actually be pretty cool because he's always like a common or a rare in like every, in like TCG and OCG. So be cool to see that in this set. Animation Chronicle, 2003 or 2023 i think i still have some 22 left but we already pulled the blue eyes so i figured there wasn't a blue eyes inside so i just kind of hung on to them we have a birth event very nice it's an old school anime card oh the right arm of the forbidden one is this like a re wait this looks a lot like the original like ocg printing it's almost like they did they did the old art style and everything they have like the attack and defense i saw this wait a second i saw this on the list and i was like this must be a mistake because it was only the only exodia piece in the entire set are they gonna do like multiple sets that you have to find exodia maybe that's the case this thing looks really cool i'm not gonna lie if we could get the full set it would be really exciting i would definitely open like a ton of this maybe the, like the wiki was wrong and you could actually get all of them maybe we'll pull another one and we'll find out okay so uh that was unexpected i totally thought that was like an error or something i was like why would there be one exodia piece that wouldn't make sense but maybe it's like set up to have like five different sets you have to open that would be absurd but it might be the case at this point we'll have to find out uh we've got an ultra rare that's cool it's the original exodia piece looking we have a okay just a parallel rare nothing too crazy there's still a few packs left in this box we do have another box after this so don't worry on our last chance at the 25th quarter century i guess it's technically called quarter century but i always want to call it 25th anniversary rare uh, there's a Pendulum Dragon, a Multifaker, and another Super. So where are those Collector Rares at? Somehow we still have like seven packs left. I don't know how this is like taking this long, but it seems like these packs are a lot longer for some reason. There's only five cards inside. We have a, uh, oh, what? Why? Gazelle. Gazelle. Yeah, I was like, what's that guy's name? Gazelle. We have, our, this guy's name is like Earthbound Linewalker or something. And then another, okay, another Prismatic Secret. So these aren't quite rarity collection where like almost every other pack you're getting a high rarity, but these are still pretty fun. I mean, if you can pull like that, that awesome Exodia, then maybe these are pretty awesome. We have 
Pendulums, we have Burfamet. We have a... That's an Ultra Geist card. And then another Ultra Rare. I don't know what this card is. The Hollow's pretty nice on it, though. Pretty beautiful. A lot of stars. It's like a 12-star monster. Okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Few packs left. Will this bat box be the lucky one? I know you guys want us to get the 25th so you guys can win it. I mean, that would be pretty cool. Junk Warrior. I'm not going to say Synchron again. We have the 100 Eyes Dragon. We have Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. And another secret prismatic whatever it's called not secret do we even have secrets in this set i don't know they have parallel secrets would be pretty similar to that we'll have to see if we can pull one i think i, got, I don't remember what that card's called but it's a funny name and oh there it is speak of the devil you talk about secrets you pull a secret very nice prismatic secret does this guy have a crossbow it might be, might be a gun i don't know we can't have guns in our cards so not really sure that's pretty cool okay two packs left in this box but interesting opening so far that exodia definitely came out of nowhere let's see if we can get there's a common version of that card. Interesting. Common and secret. I like how they have different, uh, you know, level rarities for everything. Another super rare. That's definitely an Earthbound Immortal, just based on that mouth. But I don't know what card that is. I feel like we don't have this card in the in the TCG, but I could be wrong. Last pack of this box. Will it have a collector? I guess collector rares aren't guaranteed either, unless this one has it. Or we just got unlucky. We got an error box, which wouldn't be surprised at this point. We have a multi-faker. XCs. We got a flying wingman. I'm just kidding. I made that up. I don't know. And then a, okay, prismatic secret. So not guaranteed collector rares. Interesting. Okay, next box. This will be the lucky box, right? Definitely. What if Exodia was in every box? How weird would that be? You just pull Exodia like the right arm every time. 15 more packs. Will they be good enough this time? Will they contain the quarter century secret rare? Here we go. I'm opening these upside down because I suck with the pull tabs and the OCG packs, so I'm not going to try to do them. We have the Pendulum, we have Altergeist, the Gazelle, and another Prismatic Secret. 14 packs left in this box. Will we pull something insane? So far, nothing insane. I mean, exo well, maybe Exodia is insane. I don't know how rare it is. Uh, okay, nothing in that one. Maybe I should mix these up. You think they're like uh, in the same order? Probably not, but last time we started 0 for 2, so maybe maybe they are. We'll find out. Ultra Geist, we've got some car that I've never seen before. We have a Xyz. I've probably seen it, but they'll often have different artwork in the OCG, so I could have missed it. By the way, if you guys like these boxes, don't forget to check out Yugi Market. They will be linked down below. They sent me these boxes, by the way. It was really nice of them. So uh, I get to experience the OCG stuff, which I don't always get to do anymore. Or like before, I didn't get to until Yugi Market came around. So this is pretty cool. I think our first set we did together was actually the Blue Eye set. So I guess it's been about a year since then. That's pretty cool, actually. Now that I think about it, another Earthbound card. Super rare. All right, Starlight Rare, where are you? Starlight Rare. Come on, we have the, the donut guy, we have Burfamet, and a, man, this, this has been a bad box so far. We've literally pulled nothing. I guess in the other one, we got what? A couple Ultras in the Exodia, and then the Secret Rare. So yeah, there's not like any Collector Rares as of yet, or ultis. I don't know if you can get ultis. That is another, that's the same card. The same ultra rare, okay. All right, same ultra, interesting, interesting. This is a 60 card set, so it's not huge. I looked earlier, but a lot of them can be like the same, you know, they can be different rares. They can be common, they can be collector rare, they can be seeker rare. A lot of them can be like three or four different rarities. Some can be like two, some are just commons actually. So not like every card, but most cards can be different. Uh, Gazelle, we have the Earthbound Line Walker, and there's our secret rare. Oh, this card looks familiar, but I can't remember what it is. Why do I think it's a Sky Striker card? I don't think it is, though. I don't know. Secret Rare it looks really, really nice, though. But Secret Rare is not what we're searching for. We're looking for Quarter Century Secret Rare. Come on. Give us something epic. Here we go. Earthbound Immortal. I feel like that guy's name is like Pisku or something. Something weird. Uh, there's a Super. Okay. A few left in this box. Where are the Collector Rares? They definitely have Collector Rares in the set. I already looked it up right before this. I know they have Collector Rares. Uh, we have 100 Eyes, we have Chimera, another pris or, uh, Parallel Secret Rare. No, that's not right. Oh, no, no, I forgot. It's like Parallel... Well, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. I think I think Prismatic Secret... Yeah, maybe it is Parallel Secret. Oh, and there's a Collector Rare! All right! Finally got one! That looks incredible. Wow. I don't recognize this card. Maybe it's a new card, actually, but... This thing looks insane. Man, when are we going to get these OCG collector rares? Our collector rares in the last set did look a lot better, but we still got a long way to go to like match this level of collector rare. Like it just pops out at you. That is a really nice looking foil. All right, collector rare, not guaranteed per box. I don't know if they're like one in three like ours or not. All right, three packs left in this box. Will we get the 25th anniversary secret rare? Come on, come on, make it happen. Same as the collector rare box. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a crazy box. I'd, oh, that's a Ruxin special. First of the day though, first of the day, not bad. Two packs left. These are gonna contain something big. I have a good feeling. Here we go, multi-faker. There you go, Doug. We have 
The super rare. Okay, one more. Uno Moss, 30th pack of the opening. 30 packs opened, one collector rare pulled. I guess that's not the worst. That's at least something. It's a cool looking card too. And uh, another parallel secret rare. Okay, third box time, 15 packs left. Let's go with uh, 45 overall packs. That's not bad. Will that be enough to pull the, the quarter century secret? Probably not, but we'll find out. Here we go. Let's see if Yugi Market sent us some fire. Will they bless us with a quarter century secret? Gazelle, we've gotten a lot of gazelles so far. I wish Gazelle and like all of them were foils. I don't know if they are. I didn't actually notice them until I started opening it when I was looking through the set list. So maybe they could be. Collector of those would be pretty fun. We have a, oh, we got this card every box. How often do we get this ultra rare? Maybe in this set, you get a lot of the same supers and ultras and then like the collector rares and the prismatic secrets are the ones that vary. I feel like that's possible. I feel like that happened with us when we opened Animation Chronicle last time with the blue eyes, so maybe that's the case. We have another super. Yeah, I feel like we pulled that super a few times already. So yeah, there's like a limited amount of ultras and supers, so you just get like the same ones over and over, which is not that exciting, I'm not gonna lie. You don't really wanna get that, but let's see if we can get a big, that's nothing. That's a Ruxin special, by the way. That's number two, not bad, not bad. Can we make it happen? We have uh, the Burfamet, we have the 100 Ice Dragon, we have a guy holding something, and then that's nothing. Uh, it's nothing, unfortunately. Can it be something this time? Chimera. Give us something big, another collector rare. That's a prismatic secret rare, so it is something. This looks like Stonehenge. I don't know what it actually is. Maybe it's a hand. It looks like an Earthbound Immortal hand. I think that's what it is. Come on, give us something. Send us the luck right now. We need something crazy. We have Jet Synchron, we have nothing there. Okay, nothing crazy there. Let's see about this next one. Give us something big. We have, uh, Rex and Special. That's too like a little, what was that, a lamppost? Is this Narnia? I guess that's what's going on here. Let's see, Gazelle. We've seen Gazelle so many times. Gazelle, bless us with something, man. We've seen you so many times. Where's the Junk Warrior? Summon him. We have Earthbound Line Walker. Send us that luck for the... This isn't it. This isn't it. I just had a feeling that wasn't it. A little bit over halfway through this third box, and we have yet to pull anything but a Collector. Well, I guess Collector is pretty good. I don't know if there... I bet there's no ulties in this set. Oh! <laughs> Just like I asked for the Chimera Collector Rare. Okay, I guess it does come in a Collector Rare. That is super cool. I like this. It's not technically a Vanilla. He's a Fusion, but he's basically Vanilla because he has no effect. Old school card being printed in Collector Rare. I mentioned this early on in the video. And look what happens. So we've got two collector rares. I wonder how often it, maybe like one in two boxes. I really know because the first one didn't have anything. All right, four packs left in this box. Two collector rares, not bad. Not what we're looking for. It's gonna be a pretty nice giveaway actually. I kind of wish I had that Chimera for myself. Burfamet, I'm guessing Burfamet and uh, Gazelle probably have a collector rare too then. Chimera didn't get like a print in the TCG to like 2010 or something. It was very weird. It was a rare in like a set, it just didn't fit. That's a super rare. Okay, we haven't seen that super yet. That's interesting. Little, uh, little bit of flames. Two packs left. Will there be the 25th anniversary? No, okay. All right, one pack. We have Animation Chronicle, pack number 45. Oh no, this is not ripping. This is not ripping. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, all right, come on, come on. We have FA, we have, oh, it's not there. Where's the quarter century? We have one more box. Our final chance at that junk warrior. Let's see. I don't think I cut that. Okay, let's see if we can pull it right here in the last chance. So I guess the right arm is actually pretty rare. So I think we might've gotten lucky to get that. That could probably re replace our collector rare. I bet that's what happened. You get either a collector rare or that. I bet that's what happened because we got that in the first box and then collector rares in the other boxes. All right, last few packs here. It's been a good opening. This is gonna be 60 packs open for this uh, junk, junk Warrior, not Junk Synchron. I didn't, I almost said it, but I didn't. We have Gazelle, we have, okay, nothing. This is our chance, we can make it happen. Bless us, here we go. We have the, uh, oh, an eye, the, the Millennium Eye going on there, Pegasus action. Still some packs left, still some chances, still a quarter century hope in this opening. It's not quite the Blue Eyes White Dragon like it was last year. I mean, that was a pretty awesome pull, but this would also be really cool. That's a Ruxin special, okay. You can't stop believing, guys. Don't believe in the heart, or no, do believe. Believe in the heart of the cards. Don't give up, here we go. Oh no, it's coming down toward the end. Don't give in to the temptation of giving up. We're getting this quarter century secret. That's a super rare. That is not a quarter century secret. That is not it, but okay, let's just say in theory, we got another collector rare. Gazelle, make it a gazelle. That'd be really cool. Yugi card. 
We have multi-faker. We have oh, nothing yet, nothing yet. In this box so far, we have not gotten much. Let's see if we can turn it around and make it happen. We have the Burfamet. We have an Ultra Rare. That's the card we got in Collector Rare. That's pretty cool. Or at least the first Collector Rare. So it's normally an Ultra on that one. So that's probably a pretty sick card. Next up, we have FA. We have Pendulum. We have Multi... No, not multi but Probably an Ultra Geist card. Still a few packs left. I think we've only gotten like an Ultra and a Super out of this. So there should be Secret Rare, maybe. Collector Rare, maybe. Something like that. I think we've gotten a Secret Rare every, pa every box. So we should get one. There we go! Let's go! All Ultra guys, prismatic secret rare action. All right, another secret right as we asked for it. Few packs left and then our hopes are either completed or they're dashed. And guess what guys, they're gonna be completed. You gotta believe, here we go. It's about to happen. We're gonna get something crazy. We have a super rare, that is not crazy. I don't understand why the right arm is the only Exodia piece in here. That is confusing me right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's very strange, but it is a cool card. We have the Jet Synchron, we have the Ultra Geist and a skull, not much there. Not summon skull, but a skull. Like four packs left. Four more chances at that quarter century secret rare junk warrior. Ah! <laughs> Another right arm! So I think the right arm is the only Exodia piece. So we now have two right arms. Poor guy. Poor guy. Two right arms. Three packs left. Right, let's see if we don't get a collector rare. That might replace our collector rare, which is kind of sad because we already have one. <laughs> so it's like... I feel like you would get that pretty often instead of like a random collector rare. Pretty interesting. We have a, okay, nothing there. Two packs left. Two Exodia arms, pretty cool. I need some info in the comments about if they're going to be doing like other, you know, pieces of Exodia in other sets, which I feel like they're going to do. Surely not every Animation Chronicle. That would be like four years from now before we could complete the set. <laughs> That'd be absurd. Okay, one pack left. Final chance in 2023. Here we go. Come on, guys. Junk Warrior, 25th anniversary. We can do this. This is our chance. We got that flying guy. We've got the Chimera, which we got in a collector rare. We have one more chance. Here we go. Oh. So it does seem that the Exodia piece replaces the collector rare, which is a little bit weird. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know, should we get that Junk Warrior in another video? Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Micycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertide Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.